I think the people here would like to learn a bit of using uh, the computers, finding resources, finding housing, finding uh, you know jobs, and uh, even if they were to look on Craigslist or any other website, that they would be able to do this kind of stuff. So yeah. The overall theme is we help individuals overcome homelessness. We help families. We work with over 700 families overcoming homelessness. And we also work with uh, seniors and veterans, lots of refugee and immigrant families uh, and individuals. Uh, there's just there's not one population that we serve. We serve all populations who are at risk of, um, of homelessness or have recently been homeless. Um, serve about 4,000 individuals overall. What they really maybe want is good a good paying job so that mentor would help them kind of look at unionized work, for example. So do they create, I'm, I'm almost thinking of it as like an action plan sort of. It like is. Next step. Do, so do they co-create that with the Exactly. President? They co-create it and that's the beautiful thing about okay. participatory action research, which is participatory. Okay. So it's not just observing and kind of doing this in a little bubble. It's, you know, hmm. it's, it's two partners working together on this. Things like institutionalized racism cause a lot of poverty mm -hmm. and they're perpetual. And I think that they're, they're gonna be around for a while. And the best way to counteract that is to educate, educate those groups to survive in the system that's there. And that's something that worked for both my parents who as Mexican immigrants, I was able to later in life both go to both of my parents' citizenship ceremonies through help that I was able to provide for them. And so I'm here to to provide a service and not to provide help because I think that's a very uh, clear distinction we need to make. It's like we, we need to service these people versus helping them.